Hey guys, what's going on? K Good here, bringing you uh, my first Black Ops 2 game. Um, happy Call of Duty release to everybody out there. So, my first impressions of this game. Um, oh, first off, I want to talk about. Uh, you may have introduced the new little intro. Um, no longer sports gaming vids. I felt that was too one dimensional, and I really didn't want to just mainly be a sports guy. I want to be able to mix it up in a produce other kinds of videos such as Call of Duty as you're seeing today. So I mean that's basically the whole gist of it. K Good um is basically my kinda like a nickname. I mean my gamer tag's K Good to Pride. My real name's Kirby Goodrich, so I mean you can see how I got that. But anyways, uh what we really want to talk about today is the new Black Ops 2. So um Basically, I picked this thing up at midnight, and I was, I was back home playing by one. I mean, I was one of the one of the f first in line. But anyways, um, the maps, uh, as you can see here, this is a quite unique map. Pretty pretty good size, you know. Uh, has good. Uh, how would I word this? Uh, uniqueness. I don't know. I don't really know what to call it, but it, it has it. It has its features for every type of player. Each map kind of really does. You know, it's got a spot for snipers, it's got a spot for close combat, and it's got a spot for uh, like assault rifles, that medium range type type spots. And you see here this map's called Cargo, and basically, you know, as it describes, it's just cargo. You're on a cargo dock, I guess. I think it's a dock. Um, but yeah, a lot of these maps um, are pretty, pretty unique. Um, and they actually do have they have a few smaller ones, but they actually have some pretty good size to it. And that, you know, really gets your sniping in uh, close quarters combat along with the medium range. And it really has it all, which is uh, which is good. It's not just a run and gun map where people are just MP7 or shotgunning, you know, like a dome or something like that. Like we, you know, we used to have an MW3. Uh, the guns are mainly the same. Uh, from what we're used to in the old Call of Duties, you got your basically your M16. This right here, I believe, is the SWAT, which is like the M16. Uh, they don't actually have the M16, but it's, this is basically the same gun, three round burst. Um, they have your basic assault rifles, that type of deal, FAL, and then they have the MP7 back as a submachine gun. Some different sniper rifles like the Barrett and that stuff. Those are all back same old same old with that but um one thing is the attachments they have a few more attachments that are different you know these different sites such as like a a site that turns red when you're on the enemy and, and stuff like that and it's kind of interesting but the thing about uh getting these all these new guns and stuff is you unlock them but you have to you have to buy them just like at black ops and how you basically are able to unlock them is you get an unlock coin when Whenever you level up, you get one on lock coin. So by the end of it, I don't actually really remember what level you uh, prestige at, but I think it's like 55. So you have 55 tokens throughout a whole prestige. And I feel myself having a lot left over because I find like one, one maybe or two guns that I really like, and I basically just spend you know money on or the coin on like a red dot or something like that, maybe a silencer. So I'm really not using that many coins. Uh, or tokens, whatever you want to call it. I mainly use it on like a perk when I unlock perks or like maybe a better perk that I like. But um, there's a different little layout process. But I, I you know, uh, I kind of like it. And uh, uh, they didn't bring back Team Defender off uh, the game modes. I feel like they didn't bring oh yeah, they didn't bring back Sabotage either, which was uh, interesting. That's always been a part of the Call of Duty series. But they didn't bring that back. Um, trying to think do they have any new ones oh uh yeah they have a hard point which is like headquarters but uh without the respawn time and then they also have a multi-team which is 3v3 or uh no three teams of three excuse me and it's basically like headquarters and you uh go and try to capture the point and basically uh in the allotted time i believe whatever team is winning at the end is uh is with the winner and Basically, I've only done that one time, and for some reason, the other teams had, the two other teams had three people, but my team only had two, so we were playing 
a man down and we basically got our shit wrecked. Um, but this game is, uh, it's, I'm actually really happy with it. Other people that I've heard mixed, uh, mixed emotion feelings about it. You know, some people really like it. Some are really disappointed. Um, some are calling it basically it's like a Call of Duty and Battlefield mix, so they're really enjoying it. But uh, I mean, me personally, I really like it. I had my struggles here. Um, I quit early. <laughs> I, I went to bed around five because I was getting a little pissed off at the game. I had a good KD going. I was rolling like a two in the twos, and then all of a sudden, like from four o'clock to five o'clock, I just hit this slump where I was just tired and just wasn't getting anything. My KD took took a hit I was down like the one sixes or something like that but um that was a little frustrating at that point but other than that I've really been excited about the game oh another thing they changed is the sensitivity it goes up to 14 now I originally only went when I was going through my sensitivity uh, when I first got the game I put it on 10 and I felt it was a little slow and I was like and then eventually somebody pointed out it was like talking to me about how they're like you, you notice how the sensitivity goes up to 14 and i was like what are you kidding and then lo and behold it goes up to 14 and then, but uh, i actually found myself going down i'm trying to lower myself down a little bit i feel like i was moving a little too quick and i was kind of missing some shots that i used to be able to hit but so basically this is going to wrap up the first gameplay and i showed you a little impressions about how i was feeling about the game and uh, hopefully we can uh, come back here in maybe a month or two and revisit this and see how my thoughts about the game are then. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is uh, K Good signing out.